And with that, it's time for the franchise as we bring in my guy, CP, the franchise of Knicks Fan TV. CP, good to see you. Uh, the Knicks moves at the deadline have drawn praise from all around the league. So, CP, what are your thoughts on this trade? Chelsea, at the deadline, the Knicks got much-needed offensive reinforcements, both for their bench and for their potentially for their starting unit based on the injuries that they have. In Alec Burks and Boyan Bogdanovich, you have efficiency from three. Boyan Bogdanovich, a bit better of an all-around offensive threat. And Alec Burks brings familiarity, which Tom Thibodeau, Knicks head coach Tom Thibodeau, really loves. He played for the Knicks uh, just about two years ago, and so he's going to come in and fill that backup point guard role that the Knicks desperately needed uh, based on the absence of Emmanuel quickly and the best part of this deal is that they did not have to give up a first round pick so the Knicks have their eye on competing right now and their eye towards the future as they look to build a championship contender yeah that's really key right there the Knicks have had their eyes on Alec Burks for the past few weeks they've been watching Bogdanovich for the past year now they have them both I think a really smart move by the Knicks uh, CP is it now Eastern Conference Finals or bust for the Knicks well, first off, Chelsea, it's get healthy as soon as possible because the Knicks, although they look good on paper, you can't win championships on paper. They need Julius Randle back healthy. They need OG Ananobi, who will be recovering from elbow surgery over the next three weeks. They need him back healthy, and you hope that once you get into the playoffs in April that Jalen Brunson will be healthy. But on paper, if everything comes together, this team certainly has the tools to make it to the Eastern Conference Finals. They have the star power. They have shooting efficiency, rebounding, defense, size if everything comes together this next team can make a run in the east yeah i agree with you uh, so cp you mentioned the health of these players the injuries that they've been suffering but how do you feel about this roster as it's currently constructed in the way that the knicks are right now I really love the way Leon Rose and his staff has been prudent in terms of building this team. Once Jalen Brunson came here and established himself as a superstar caliber player, the Knicks needed to go out there and surround him with a supporting cast that will accentuate his strengths. Surround him with three-point shooting. Allow this floor to be spaced so that he can operate in the paint and get into his mid-range game. Julius Randle as well. Both of those guys need space to operate. And so I love the way this front office is going about bringing plays that can help Jalen Brunson succeed and still saving some of their draft assets with the bigger picture in mind. So great job by Leon Rose and company. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, back to the health of these guys. Isaiah Hartenstein is officially ruled out for Saturday's game against the Pacers. Jalen Brunson is questionable. So how should the Knicks handle the front court if Hartenstein misses time? So Isaiah Hartenstein is nursing a sore Achilles. This was hampering him last year, and it seems like, you know, it's going to have to be managed based on pain tolerance. And, you know, it's unfortunate because Isaiah Hartenstein has been playing so well since Mitchell Robinson had went down. So now they're going to be down to their third string center. And back when Precious Achu was acquired in at the uh, at the start of the year, it was thought that he was a throw-in in the R.J. barrett OG Ananobi trade. Now, Precious Achu has played so well for this team. Now he's a vital piece for this front court. They also have Jericho Sims in their stable, and they did just sign Taj Gibson to his next 10-day contract. Now, Taj is another guy who's familiar with this team, but he's a little bit older, a little bit more winded, as you saw in their loss to the Dallas Mavericks, and so it's going to be worthwhile watching where the Knicks go from here. The good news is is that we heard that Mitchell Robinson will resume basketball activities after the All-Star break, so much-needed reinforcements could be on the way.